guys, today I'm going to be showing you everything that I pack for a camping trip away with my dog. I should probably go grab him. Say hi to everyone. This is Billy. He's a border collie for bread. And he loves camping. Don't you, Billy? And cuddles. So I'm going to run through everything that I bring for him. I don't, I don't know what I usually put it in. I need to get like... A waterproof bag for him if anyone has any suggestions leave it down in the comments for me so what i bring will like often slightly vary like it depends where we're going this time we're going up to the murray river on the vic side so you're allowed dogs there so i don't know where to put this box i found a spot for my box so i've got this long lead the ones that like stretch out and you can clip them in they're really good i love them for camp Yeah, they're really good for camping. And then I also just have his normal lead. And then I'll also usually grab, we just have this packed in the car, I'll grab a long rope. So then if I need a time down for something, he can still have lots of room to play. But I've seen all over TikTok these like, I don't remember what they're called. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. And um, you wrap it around two trees. It's like has a carabiner on it. And it means your dog can run past and they won't get tangled because Billy gets tangled very easily. Next thing that is an absolute, thing that's an absolute must for me for camping is these dog bag, bags, 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 and they've got this little carabiner so you can just snap them straight on, and it's perfect. Like because you want to keep the campsite, like leave it as you found it, sort of thing. So it's nice to have those. And also it's embarrassing when your dog takes a shit in front of people and you have nothing to pick it up with. The next thing we've got is toys. It's just one with a little rope. This dog goes through toys like no one else. So I'm go am gonna have to go to Kmart and buy a few more. He really likes those rubber toys as well. But again, goes through them so quickly. And this is a no brainer. Now we've got a bag of dog food. I don't put it in a container or anything. I just leave it in the bag because we've got resealable. This is the absolute, wait, let me, absolute favourite dog food, gentle cake. It's really good for them. And this, I don't like this flavour because it smells really bad. We bulk buy it, so we get massive boxes of these every three months or so. And it's, it just works so well. And it's so good for camping because you can just chuck the bag straight. What I've got is just his food and water bowls. We bring this massive water bowl. Literally, it lasts me like all day does not fit in my box <laughs> also i've got his food bowl it's just a little one we feed them well I, I feed him twice daily um oh dog beds i usually bring him two dog beds we've got this hessian mat is that what it's called the like thin material i think it's hessian and it's like a potato sack bag and then i also have this like fluffy one which i need to go buy a new one because someone peed on it next thing we've got is a dog swag and I know this is a controversial one, but Billy hates sleeping with me. He loves it when we're at home, he'll sleep in my bed or sleep on my bedroom floor. But when we're camping, he gets too hot. What we've got is this dog swag. I don't know where it was from. Well, it's from Beefier. 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 It's, I don't know what brand it is, but I'll set it up quickly to show you how quick it is. to show you around it it's got two breathable vents on either side front door and the front door can be like folded rolled down as well it's waterproof so it's good for winter camping and all that stuff um and i love it it was 150 dollars off bcf unpacking it is just as easy as setting it up although i can't be bothered the last thing I have to pack is already in the car. I'll see if I can get a photo up. It's a little net that goes from the passenger to the driver's side and it just keeps me, so let's say we got in a crash or it breaks really hard, which does happen. <coughs> yeah, so if we're camping or full driving and we get in a car crash or someone breaks really hard, then he won't go flying through the window, hopefully. And it's also really nice for storage. Like sometimes I'll keep just some little things in there like toys, water. I want to look into getting one of those glow-in-the-dark collars for like when he needs to pee in the middle of the night or anything.
anything like that just nighttime stuff because i feel like it's a really good safety precaution to have all right that is everything i'm bringing away from my dog to the murray river but yeah that's all let me know if you have any suggestions